Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure and we are back on the 1980 Honda ATC 110 and if you guys remember right I'm checking the stator and we can see we have an open circuit here but before we tear this whole thing apart let's make sure the stator we bought is good all right to test the stator turn the meter to continuity you can see it right there and turn it on you see three ohms we have one lead going to the metal case and the second lead going to the black wire once again three four ohms so we know the stator coil is good and we know that one's opened this uh, stator is from eBay it cost me a hundred bucks and another ten dollars tax so hundred and ten dollars now it's just a matter of smashing it in there and hopefully we don't have any surprises like the 1980 110 use the double backwards inverted crazy can never find stator which would make this one the wrong one and that means I don't have the right one sometimes on these old machines Honda's pretty good but some of the other brands it's uh, really a bear to get ignition parts. So you got to be very concerned if you find something that you can't hack the ignition, i.e. it doesn't have a pulse generator, it's got points, and uh, you can't get the parts for it. So anyway, with that caution, let's get busy. First thing we got to do is get the uh, recoil off. Right. I've already loosened these. You guys remember I wanted to put another loop into this. And just one more. And life will be good. Yeah, I left the cover off the points just so that I could go through and make sure everything's proper. By the way, this um This stator happens to be in really nice shape. It has the connectors and everything on it. The wires don't look too crispy cream. So that's, uh, that's all good stuff, right? All right, one more. Next up, got to get the bolt out of the uh, flywheel here. <laughs> I cheated. I already broke it loose. There you go. And now, hopefully... I have the right flywheel puller for this guy. Time to pull the flywheel. Go through the trouble of investing in proper flywheel removal tools. If not, trouble. And if you look closely, you could see I already got that loosened up. By the way, some of these have an opening where the keyway could fall in and get into trouble. So just take that moment to look, make sure everything's going to stay where it's supposed to stay. Next thing, you want to get the uh, stator out. Make sure you're turning in the right direction, right? You don't want to break anything. Loose. Loose. Yeah, I need to get this machine back to its owner. It looks like another one we're going to kind of swap. This one's going back to him. Oops. <laughs> um, and... Hmm. One, two, three bolts. I guess I'm going to have to wiggle that a little bit. It's not coming out easy. Wow, this, uh, this stator won't come out for love nor money. I'm using a, uh, a puller on it to, to get it to come loose. <laughs> Wish me luck here. I didn't expect a problem here at all. Success. I was looking at the new one I bought 
And there, um, there is a bit of a witness mark Let's see, on the other side where he had to come in. You guys could see that, right? And kind of, kind of work it. Uh, be careful getting this out. Obviously, if you damage one of these little wires, you're done. So, careful, careful, careful. I thought getting the flywheel out would be hard. The stator was the one that really fought me. Anyway, um, you know, putting it back in, just three bolts, very carefully tightened them so it settled in, sat evenly, no problem there. Um, obviously, I slid the flywheel back on. I made sure the keyway was good, the woodruff key was good. Obviously, um, flywheel's on I tighten the bolt like this I don't just go hammering on it I you know go through the problem of tight torquing it by hand as you as you could see now it's a matter of getting the recoil on rewiring it I'm gonna double check to make sure that the new stator didn't open up um, because that would be like a really nasty event um, the wires are a little crispy, not too bad, but really do yourself a favor. Don't be uh, yanking and cranking on them. You can't break things. Once again, I made sure everything was tight enough and everything's settled, everything's nice. So a matter of hooking up the wires, putting the recoil on, um, throwing a couple of pulls on this thing. Hopefully it fires right up. Then this thing... We'll move out today and go back home. Um, if I had to fix these things for a living and actually make money at it, I would be dead. I, uh, <laughs> you, you can't take weeks to fix one of these, and you really can't have one taken apart, because no matter how big your shop is, if it takes weeks to fix every one of them, Every lift you had, every workbench you had, every table you had, every toolbox you had, there would be parts everywhere, i.e. my problem. So anyway, let's finish putting it together, enough editorial, and hopefully it fires right up. Okay, hopefully you can see. And hopefully you're seeing a spark. Remember, always OCD, make sure you check your oil. It stinks putting all this work into a machine and not checking the oil and then torching the motor. So, I'll put in the spark plug, give it a hoot of starting fluid and hopefully we'll hear it roar. Okay, let's see if this thing cooperates. Gas on. Oh, I forgot to put that on. Got to do that. <laughs> There's always like something else. Choke on. And. Okay. Choke off. All right. Let's see how I did. Uh, do I have to give it throttle? It's warmed up. I'm going to admit that right up front. So it's running a little rich. I told the uh, owner that he might want to run it a bit and then change the... Uh... I turned the gas off. <laughs> Anyway, he might want to run it a bit before he, uh, um, and then clean the carburetor. Uh, you know, problem with these machines, I literally can spend the next several days on it. It needs the clutch adjusted. It needs the carburetor cleaned. It needs the wiring for the kill button to be extended. It needs wires put in the headlight. It needs the tail light trouble shot. The plastic goes on, but it doesn't quite latch in the front. So there's like a, a bunch of silly things. And once again, one could put days and days and days into it. 
My particular suggestion for this machine is it's a pretty machine. Try to get it to a collector somewhere who's really going to put the time and effort into it. If one runs it and slam bangs it and everything else, it's, uh, it's not going to play well. I mean, it's good enough looking. Somebody who really wants to put the effort into restoring it should, should get it and should do that. I'm not that person. I'm, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a sloppy kind of guy. So there we are. Anyway, I'm going to roll it onto the truck and move it on its way. I think there's other stuff going to be coming home with me. So we'll see. I guess you'll find out when I get back. In the meantime, I need everyone, please keep your feet down, please, heads up, and I need you all to get out there and enjoy each and every day. Don't let any time get by you. And also, if you got a project like this and you want it nice, make it nice. Um, if you're going to, um, you know, kind of half but it like I did um you, you know I mean you could ride it you could enjoy it but if you want a nice machine make it nice and enjoy it like my buddy Steve does that yellow uh, uh foreman that I plow with you know he went through the trouble of making it nice he cleaned it up he painted the racks he put good tires on it real wheels so when it's time to use it you walk up to it put the key in turn it push the button, engine starts, you ride it around, the choke, the throttle, everything is adjusted properly so so you, you don't fool. I've always made the mistake of collecting more machines than I could uh, I could take care of and then you know I get them running and I use them and lose interest and buy another one, get it running, use it for a little while and lose interest. That's this is probably not the right way. Um, forget the probably. It's not the right way. Um, do better than me. <laughs> I once again thank you all for watching and listening to me rant. Remember, feet down, heads up, and make sure you enjoy each and every day. Enjoy your toys. <laughs> and uh, remember, for as many toys as you own, that's the number of toys that own you, so be careful. Don't own more than you can handle, and don't eat more than you could chew. Bye now, folks.